Hey guys, Nick here with The Bridge Group. There have been a lot of updates recently since my last video, so today I wanted to bring you guys an update about all of that, everything that's gone on in the news, and how it affects you and the housing market here in Houston, Texas. All right, let's get this out of the way first. You're probably wondering if real estate transactions are even happening right now. Are people even wanting to buy or sell homes? Much less, are they allowed to? Has real estate been shut down? The answer is no. Real estate is actually still in full swing. Real estate is considered an essential service according to the most recent order for Harris County, the stay home work safe order. Me and my team at the Bridge Group are pretty much working as normal. We've had to make some slight changes about the way that we handle things like open houses and social distancing but other than that everything is still trucking along as normal we are still working diligently and working with our buyers and sellers to buy and sell real estate here in the Houston area. So this also means that those related services like title companies, lenders, appraisers, home inspectors are all still working as normal. Now, there might be some slight delays because there has been an overwhelming number of people who were trying to refinance to take advantage of low interest rates. And there's also still a pretty competitive market with a lot of buyers trying to enter the market to try to get a good deal. So you might see some slowdowns in some areas of the process, maybe some closings getting extended a little bit, but other than that, everything is happening as normal. Because of the most recent order, a lot of title companies are closing their doors to the public. And so the only real difference is that instead of closings happening in person, only those who are required to sign at closing are being, being invited to it. And closings are typically happening either remotely or mobily using a notary, or a lot of title companies are also offering a drive up or drive through closing. So uh, we're switching gears just like a lot of industries are right now. And so title is no different. Closings are still happening. They just might look a little bit different than they have for the past few years. So if you are currently under contract to buy or sell a home, don't worry, your closing will still go through as normal. Again, other than maybe some small or minor delays or the closings being not in person, but being mobile or remote, everything is still going through. If you are concerned, maybe you're currently under contract and there's a potential for a job layoff. There's a potential that you could lose your job or your spouse could lose their job and you are concerned about what your options are. Definitely reach out to your real estate agent. If you're working with me, you can certainly reach out to me and we can provide you with advice and options to help you get through that difficult time. Now, what if you're a current homeowner? How is everything going on affecting your property value right now or maybe affecting your ability to sell here in the near future? Well, as of right now, we are not expecting a housing market crash like what happened in 2008. I'll put a link to my video that I did on that last week. There was some great information put out by Keeping Current Matters about how our market right now is vastly different than how the market was in 2008. So we really don't see a housing market crash on the horizon. Now, obviously we don't know the future. There's no way for us to know with 100% certainty, but just based on the data that we have, it doesn't appear that we will be experiencing a crash. So there's really only three questions to ask yourself if you're a current homeowner. Do you need to buy a new home? Do you need to sell your home for some reason? Or should you hold on to your property and wait? No matter what the answer is, you'll have to make the best decision for you and your own family. If you need some help and advice, if you have questions, definitely reach out. I'd be more than happy to chat with you through what your options look like to help you make the best decision for you and your family. Now, what if you're a current homeowner and you're facing a job loss or a layoff? What options do you have? Well, first and foremost, President Trump declared that Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and HUD all defer foreclosures and evictions for at least the next 60 days. So if you are in danger of that, uh, that's actually gonna be put off for a couple months to buy you some time to hopefully find another job or some temporary work to help you make your payments. If you're still concerned that you won't be able to make your monthly payments, definitely reach out to your mortgage service provider before you're late on any payments and ask them what options you have available for forbearance. Forbearance essentially allows you to defer or delay mortgage payments for a period of time due to hardship, financial hardships or job loss. So right now you can give your mortgage servicer a call, let them know your current situation if you've currently been laid off or have uh, faced some sort of financial hardship and they can give you some options to be able to buy yourself some time until you can find regular employment or until you're able to come up with 
the income necessary to make your payments. Either way, you have options. Don't wait until you're late because that can ruin your credit. Reach out to them now if there's even a little bit of a concern about whether you'll be able to make your mortgage payments. Now, what about our current clients who are considering buying and selling a home in 2020? How is the current market changing for you? Right now, we're not seeing too much difference between our interest rates that we were getting last year and the year before in 2018. So you're still getting relatively low interest rates, even though they're fluctuating right now, pairing up with a good mortgage servicer, a good loan officer who can shop the rate for you and even lock in your rate and provide a float down. Uh, a lot of lenders have a float down policy that allows you to lock your rate so that if the rates go up above that, they can't. Uh, but if they have a float down policy, then if the rates dip below where you are locked, you actually get to float down to that new rate. So that's a great uh, advantage for buyers so that you can take advantage of these low interest rates. Get in touch with the loan officer. I'm happy to pair you up with ones that we recommend that we work with all the time and uh, get your rate locked in. Let's go start looking and finding you guys the right property. Take advantage of great interest rates right now. Obviously, this is going to be highly dependent upon your own personal financial situation. So if you are facing a job loss or a layoff, you probably should not be going out and getting a new mortgage uh, and buying a new home. But if you have the financial ability and you're able to buy, now is a great time to do it. And if you need to sell, don't worry. There are plenty of buyers out there right now for your house. You might be asking yourself, who is out there buying and selling real estate right now? You might be surprised to hear that real estate is really moving as normal. Just last week, our team got nine properties under contract. Uh, so homes are still selling. Obviously, we're trying to take the necessary precautions. Uh, so we're practicing social distancing, washing our hands, all the recommendations, we're definitely taking that into account, uh, but we are actually still buying and selling properties even during all of this. All right, everybody, that's all I have. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have any questions, concerns, or thoughts, definitely reach out to me. I would love to have the opportunity to talk with you and your family about what your options are to help you guys make the best decision for you. Obviously, with everything being said, please follow all recommendations and guidelines. Please stay safe out there. Please make sure that you're washing your hands. So thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. I put out new content every single week. We will see you guys on the next video.